Hey guys, my name is Natasha Adams. I'm going to be showing you how to check your temperature of your engine using an infrared thermometer today. These things are really easy to use. You just set it to Celsius, Fahrenheit, whatever you feel like on the back, and you shoot it, and it'll read the temperature off whatever you're shooting it at. This specific one I got from Jeg's, so it is Jeg's brand, and this thing is phenomenal. I definitely recommend checking them out and seeing exactly what you can use yours on. So usually running temp for most engines is between 195 to about 215, 220. Um, my temp gauge, I'm actually not sure if it even works in this F100, so that's why I'm going to be testing it today, see if it's running as cool as it say it's running. So I'm going to read the temperature of the block before I start the engine, turn it on, let it run for like 10, 15 minutes, maybe give it some gas, and then from there I'll retest it and see exactly what degree it's at. Okay, I'm going to check the temperature on the head itself, which is about 71, which is probably just outside temp. Then just for control, I'm going to test it on the actual oil pan. 72. All right, let's start this thing up. And then I'm going to test the temperature on the gauge. No, I'm just kidding. But as you can see, that is the coldest temp that is reflecting. It's not on, so that's also going to be a control. You always want to make sure that if your needle even moves at all when you're running it, then you can know if you're getting any signal to the actual gauge. Some good old, old car noises for you guys. So the really cool thing about this specific one is that you have a lot of choices. You have Fahrenheit, Celsius, the little screen light, and then you have also, you know, if you want to use the laser or not, which is helpful to not waste the battery during the day. With I'll leave the link to this specific one uh, down in the bio of this video in case any of you are interested. I would definitely recommend. All right, it's getting somewhere. It's warming up here a little bit. As you can see, the needle is still about right over the cold line. I've been running this for about, I would say, almost 10 minutes. I'm going to wait another 5 minutes, give it a little bit more gas, and then I'll step outside and see exactly uh, the temperature of everything. Okay, you can usually you like leave the car on when you're testing the temperature, but since I want you guys to be able to hear me, I'm going to keep it, keep it off. 152, which is extremely low in temperature. And this is 133. So, the fact that the car can stay that cool while idling with no forced air coming in, it's all on that fan, is a really good sign. Um, for a full test, I would definitely recommend driving the car for maybe like 10, 15 minutes, even after testing it. But in general, this is a really good way to test if your car is going to overheat, especially if it's a car that you haven't driven before like this. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Also, as soon as I adjust the brakes on this, this thing is going to be on the street, which I'm really excited for. So stay tuned for that. Thanks.